Oh, we're going to raise our game now and bring in Ashton Brockbank. Hero from last night for BYU women's soccer. Sporting the game. When they took on Argentina, a team that will compete in the FIFA Women's World Cup in France later this summer. Ashton, how you feeling after uh, putting in the equalizer in the 52nd minute? It's been crazy. I'm feeling really good. What have your social media accounts been like? Uh, so many DMs coming in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure. Awesome. Um, you finished your freshman year in the fall. This was a unique situation, though. Mm-hmm. Um, you guys found out just a couple of days ago, right, that you were going to play Argentina, and then so so. How did it uh, stack up to how you thought it might play out? I don't know. I think when we found out, we were just ready. We just were like, let's go, let's take it to them, and just see what we could do. How would you explain the crowd last night at Southfield for those that didn't watch on TV and weren't there in person? It was awesome. I mean, we haven't had that packed of a house in a long time, so it was just a really good feeling to see so many people coming out to support us and to support them, just everybody ready to watch some soccer. When did you realize it was going to be a special night? The minute we took the field. I think just walking out there, seeing the fans, getting ready, pregame chats, like everything just led up to a good night. Were you nervous seeing the uh, AFA, you know, across there? It's like, oh, that's Argentina. Like, this, yeah. is bi- this is big time. Yeah, it was crazy. I was like, this is real. Like, you <laughs> see them and you're like, this is real. Did you settle in at some point, a few minutes in? Yeah. Where you felt like, oh, it's a soccer game. Yeah. I think it's just like, once you get out there, you know what you're going to do. You just stay calm and poised and work with the ball. Yeah, the moment for me was when the national anthems were being played. And I was like, this is a different type of game. Mm-hmm. Um, because the FIFA rules and the international, uh, all, all of those uh, nuances were in play. And so when I saw that happening and then the exchange of uh, memorabilia mm-hmm. where it, it kind of says, okay, th- we played this game on this date at this place. Like uh, it, was, it was just really big time and, and a lot of fun. But the Argentine fans start stomping their feet. <laughs> what's, what's that like it, on your home field? So how do, how do you handle that? No, I think it was just cool to see like people around here are supporting everybody. So it was just kind of fun that they're on both sides, but they were also giving Argentina a lot of fun. It was fun to see you guys stack up against this team too, because this was uh, you guys won the West Coast Conference Championship. You went to the NCAA tournament. You wanted to advance, but you, you got there, right? This is a team that returns a ton of uh, players too. So was this a litmus test of sorts to see? Okay, how good are we in the spring right now? Yeah, I think with only sit away graduating one senior like we have a good starting lineup and we have good people to come off the bench so I knew like we all knew like we can take it to him we know how to play like we can do this a tie was good were you disappointed you didn't win because there were a lot of chances right yeah but a tie is pretty good against yeah them. no a tie was great I mean Jen came out at halftime and she's like are you having fun like this is the greatest experience you could possibly go through so she just wanted to make sure like we were having fun and she was happy with the tie. I mean, it's a good accomplishment. For sure. Elise Flake kind of slots that ball back towards you into the box and you have a one touch. You know, you got one shot to deliver a goal scorer and, and you do it. Um, walk us through that moment and the entire play in the buildup. Um, I just, I knew when Elise went in line I was like, if I'm there, like, I got to keep this low. I got to keep it hard. I'm not sure how many opportunities we're going to get in front of the box. And so I just wanted to make sure that I could hit the perfect shot and hope that it went in. When you hit it, did you think, oh, this is, this is going in? Or did you need it to cross before you were like, yeah? <laughs> I needed it to cross. <laughs> I, like, I shot it, and I was like, okay, like it's on the ground. And then I saw it go in the net, and I'm like, okay, cool. Like that went in. Well, Ar- Argentina had a defender. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah, Argentina had a defender sliding over at the last minute to yeah. try and deflect that ball out of the way, but it almost like skipped over the mm-hmm. top of her leg, which you meant to do. Right. There's like a little totally. angel that like totally. lifted it up. Just pop yeah. that up a little yeah. bit and into the back of the net. Um, but when, you know, let, let's talk about this some more because this is an incredible moment for you in your BYU women's soccer career. At what point did it all soak in like, whoa, <laughs> I just scored against Argentina and we tied with them? Yeah, I don't know. I think just the minute our whole team just ran in right after that goal, I was like, we did this. That's a team effort. Like, we all were a part of it. And it just sunk in, like, okay, 1-1, one, one, we can do this. Like, keep going. Got a little feisty there, too, didn't it? Yeah, totally. Which, it's an average <laughs> soccer game, right? Yeah. But it wasn't. Yeah, no, that was that was fun, too. 
Um, I took my daughter. <clears throat> she had a great time. Oh, All the fans had a great yeah. time. Your dad is Bruce Brockbank, the men's golf coach. Mm-hmm. Why don't you play golf? I don't, like, I don't like golf. Oh, <laughs> I oh. can't play golf. I don't Your know. Dad's how. ears are burning. They're hurting right now. Okay, when? How old were you when you were like, you know what? Maybe I'm doing not golf. Oh, uh, I don't know. Nine. Nine? Really? <laughs> I never really played golf in the first place, but. Mm. I'm sure your dad yeah, was like, "Hey, if you want to, here it He's is." Like, Here's a golf club. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. When when was soccer the sport for you? Uh, yeah, around nine or ten, when I like really just had you, fun with when it. When you decided yeah. you didn't like golf. Yeah. You're like, I don't <laughs> want to score against Argentina. I want to up. play soccer. Yeah. It was all validated in that moment last night. Yeah. Hey, Dad, remember how I don't like golf and I was right? <laughs> okay. Yeah. You wore Argentina colors today, by the way. I know that. Well, That's I mean, like, to kind of support them being here. Here's the and, thing. Yeah. I think BYU fans will 1 million percent embrace Argentina in the World Cup now. Mm-hmm. I would, but I, I went to Brazil on my mission, so I am I will not be a part not of that even, group. Not even the women's team that you watch play in Provo. It's okay. I'm, <laughs> They're I'm not going to play Brazil. They're not in that group. Just kidding. I don't really care. <laughs> it's all good. Ashton, congratulations. Thank it was a lot you. of fun. We're excited about the next season. Um, as with all of our first-time guests in Studio B, we would love for you to sign our Sailor Kook flag, give us your autograph, and uh, enjoy some BYU Sports Nation karma. Thank okay, you. good luck. And you guys play Utah tomorrow. Yep. Good luck against Utah. Thank you. Okay, awesome. Thanks for coming in. She doesn't play golf, people. She's a soccer player. She well, scored against she Argentina. Made, she made the right choice. <laughs> yes, she did. She made the right yes, choice. Yes, she did.